Now, on Eyewitness News at 5.30. Eyewitness News is tracking breaking news we first told you about live at 5. Eyewitness News has learned the body found today in the backyard of a home on Wesleyan Avenue, seen right here on the Pinpoint News Tracker, is believed to be that of a 19-year-old Worcester man who was reported missing by his family on March 13th. As we first reported last week, two people have already been arrested, charged with Joseph Webster's disappearance. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen was on the scene today in Providence. He joins us now live from the newsroom with the breaking details. Well, Mike, Wesley and Ave was shut down as police investigated a body found covered in debris. Now, hours later, the Worcester's DA's office says it's presumed the body belongs to a missing autistic 19-year-old. Medical gloves remain at the site where Providence police say they found a dead male covered in debris in the backyard of this abandoned home on Wesleyan Ave. That body is being transported to the state medical examiner's office for uh, identification and determination on cause of death. The body was found just a day after 19-year-old James Howes and 22-year-old Laura Corey were arraigned for charges related to the disappearance of 19-year-old Joseph Webster. Howes and Corey both pleaded not guilty to the charges. The Worcester DA's office believes it was Webster's body found in Providence. Howes' address is listed as Harvard Ave, which is just across the street from where the body was found. Police say surveillance footage last month shows Howes and Webster going to a Motel 6 in Northborough, but Webster was not seen leaving. Inside the hotel, investigators say they found pools of blood and a shovel. Police tell us the two suspects were found in Webster's car in New York. Relatives of Webster have been waiting for answers on the missing man ever since. Not knowing where, when, and why is the worst thing in the world. The Rhode Island State Medical Examiner's Office is conducting an autopsy on the body to confirm the identity, and the Worcester's DA's office says more charges may be pending against the two suspects. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.